Let's talk about the next steps of completing the worksheet after we recorded the adjusting journal entries in the last video. As a reminder, this is where we left off after we had entered our three adjusting journal entries into the worksheet. We recorded the first entry for the usage of supplies in the month of December by debiting the supplies expenses and crediting supplies for $500. The next entry, debited rent expenses and credited prepaid rent for $4,000 for the December rent. And for the last entry, we calculated the depreciation for December and then recorded it by debiting depreciation expenses, equipment, and crediting the new contra asset account accumulated depreciation equipment for $183. What is next, you ask? Well, let's see. Next, we complete the adjusted trial balance columns by adding the amounts in the trial balance columns and the adjustment columns. Only the six accounts from the trial balance columns that had adjustments now have a new amount in the adjusted trial balance columns. All others remain unchanged from the trial balance columns, like for instance, the cash account. The balance in the trial balance columns was 111,350. There was no adjustment in the adjustment column and therefore the amount in the adjusted trial balance columns is 111,350. When you've completed the adjusted trial balance amounts for all accounts, total both columns and ensure that both debits and credits are the same. Next, we'll sort the amounts in the adjusted trial balance columns into the last two columns. Balance sheet accounts are entered into the balance sheet columns, and income statement accounts are entered into the income statement columns. There's a special step at the end after you've completed the income statement and the balance sheet columns. You total the columns, but they won't equal. First, in the income statement columns, you subtract the expenses from the fees income and enter the amount into the debit column. And then you total the columns. They now balance. You also enter the same amount, the net income, into the balance sheet column as a credit. And when you total the balance sheet columns, they now should balance as well. Is that it? Not quite. We now prepare the financial statements and we also need to journalize our adjustments and post them to the general ledger. Once we've completed the worksheet, we have the information to prepare the financial statements, which is the fifth step in the accounting cycle. As part of step one, we prepare the income statement by transferring the amounts from the worksheet to the income statement by first listing the revenue of 47,000 and then all of the expenses. We total all expenses and subtract that amount of 13,333 from the revenue to arrive at net income of $33,667. As part of step two, we prepare the statement of owner's equity by entering the beginning capital of $100,000, the net income of $33,667, and the withdrawals of $5,000. We subtract the withdrawals from the net income to arrive at the increase in capital of $28,667, which we add to the beginning capital to calculate the ending capital of 
Now we're ready to prepare the balance sheet. Transfer all other amounts from the balance sheet columns of the worksheet to the balance sheet. Listing the assets first, and then the liabilities. Transfer the owner's equity information from the statement of owner's equity. We did it, except one item is still left, recording and posting the adjusting journal entries. Watch the next video to learn more.